Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for Wednesday's trading session, the 26th of October 2016. Be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers. You can download the app at www.tradesignal.com or at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, market uh, direction, this morning's Asian markets down overnight. We had the uh, Shanghai down 0.5%, the Hang Seng 1%. And the Nikkei more or less flat down minus 0.2%. The real story overnight, uh, well, there was two. Okay, first of all, Apple, Apple earnings certainly missing the mark. Okay, and uh, sending the stock down almost to two, two and a half percent overnight. Uh, initially, the reaction was higher, and then obviously it reversed on the back of potentially slowing Chinese growth and uh, the fact that uh, it failed to uh, take advantage of Samsung's demise. So two factors there. Uh, then uh, the other factor is um, is oil. Uh, the inventory data certainly uh, painted a bearish picture for oil going forward. Also, we have the Iranians and the Iraqis basically uh, disagreeing with regards to OPEC uh, moving forward in terms of their potential cut. We also have comments this morning from Russia saying that they uh, prefer a potential freeze as opposed to any cuts. So nobody really wants to give up in terms of their uh, potential pr production quotas because everyone wants to generate the revenue. And uh, given the fact that we have global growth concerns and global debt concerns, etc., etc., global inflation concerns, the last thing uh, these governments want now is a, uh, a reduced potential budget or a budget or, or increased budget deficit, especially with the Saudis now trying to raise money via the bond market. So you certainly have this uh, quagmire globally, okay? So uh, those are two factors, Apple earnings and oil, okay? Oil obviously sub $50, therefore bearish for the FTSE 100. Uh, driving the FTSE 100 lower. Now the FTSE at present is down and down almost 40 odd points. Uh, actually it's fallen even further, down another uh, currently 50 to 60 points now, down 60 points if I, if I recollect. So certainly weaker, the German DAX as well down. Uh, sub 10700 the french cac as well uh, sub 3070 now or should i say the uh, almost far 500 and then we have concerns with regards to uh, the uh, euro as well euro starting to spike and therefore obviously in, uh, indicating a risk aversion now that certainly remains a the theme now in terms of economic data this morning let's just cover that as well uh, overnight we had australian inflation certainly strong slightly stronger than expected thereby sending the aussie higher we had uh, German consumer confidence on the weaker side, uh, German import prices certainly uh, uh, indicating on the weaker side, therefore obviously exerting some pressure on the euro and therefore negating the potential euro rally. So bear that in mind. Consumer confidence for uh, France certainly came in flat and uh, we've had retail sales from the uh, from Italy certainly coming in on the weaker side as well. Okay, so uh, again, the theme is Apple, uh, obviously uh, concern. And uh, the theme also is the fact that uh, we have oil under pressure as well. Uh, in terms of oil earnings this morning, earnings uh, certainly uh, weaker from Antofagasta. Uh, Lloyd's TSB as well with their potential uh, provision for PPI certainly increasing. Okay, so uh, hard Brexit concerns, uh, German consumer confidence, Airbus as well certainly missing the mark. So certainly uh, a weaker earnings picture certainly seems to be the dominant theme and therefore this is causing the risk aversion in the markets. And in the fact that the euro is starting to rise now above 1.09, obviously we know risk aversion uh, uh, creates money flow towards the euro, so bear that in mind. Okay, now what is the next direction in the markets? Let's look at the uh, actual technical picture now that we've covered the fundamentals, folks. Okay, so we certainly know it's a, a risk off uh, potential move based on weaker earnings, Apple uh, being the uh, the main culprit. Okay, we have Airbus earnings weaker as well, Lloyd's TSB, and Tafagasta. Okay, so again, uh, certainly seems to be obviously uh, along with the Euro potential pop as well. Now the German DAX, uh, I did explain to you the last two or three days, you had a potential double top at 10,800, and that certainly is uh, materializing now. 60 minute chart now is coming into potential support, so just bear that in mind, your previous resistance equals support here as well. So uh, certainly German DAX certainly coming into potential support. 10 minute chart, German DAX, we did actually close a gap at 10,700. I expected that to hold. That certainly has failed. And then we've tested the next potential support now, which is at 10,670. So we are putting in a potential bottoming tail here with an unfilled gap above as well. So just bear that in mind. We certainly have an unfilled gap above. And the Euro USD really hasn't rallied as substantially, especially given the weaker import prices this morning. So German DAX certainly coming into support. 
Let's look at the French CAC now. French CAC, let's go to the daily chart. As I highlighted over the last two days, the French CAC certainly weak on the topping tail. Obviously, hot double top resistance. 60 minute chart of the, um, the French CAC, you certainly had. Uh, support here at uh, 4520 that certainly has failed now the next potential real bastion of support is at the 4500 level so certainly expect a potential bounce here at 4500 folks okay looking at the 10 minute chart you certainly had gap fill support and that certainly failed to hold okay uh, and now you have horizontal support at this region at 4500 so certainly looking for 4500 to hold we had 4520 that failed to hold so certainly looking for a potential pop here okay Right, um, let's look at the FTSE 100 now. FTSE 100 certainly is the weakest culprit given the fact that, like I mentioned before, oil prices certainly moving sub 50 on the back of Iraq, Iranian comments, and uh, an, a potential inventory build. Okay, so uh, certainly uh, two, a double one before FTSE 100. The daily chart certainly into previous resistance equals support. 60 minute chart now again previous resistance equals support horizontal support as well so you cut off solid support around this uh, uh, 6940 zone okay so again looking to potentially pop if you do pop you are looking at 6975 being resistance 10 minute chart certainly flushing you're into gap fill support you put in a potential bottoming tail as well at 6940 so again looking to pop here on the FTSE uh, any potential pop on the FTSE, as always, the rules dictate previous uh, res support equals resistance. So any pop here will be uh, facing resistance at this 6980 zone. So watch out for 6980. I mean, it has certainly has been an impressive sell-off from 7660 uh, down all the way down to uh, 6950. So almost 110, 120 point sell-off in the uh, in the actual FTSE 100 itself. So again, keep an eye on the FTSE. But you are now potentially into uh, support on the um, FTSE 100 so bear that in mind okay so certainly indicating a uh, potential support now on the FTSE 2 let's look at the euro stocks just to finish off here folks euro stocks broke out the bullet the bullish channel i was expecting gap fill to hold i have actually gone long that th gap fill at 3077 stop losses at 3046 so I was expecting that to hold but that certainly hasn't been the case at the moment uh, the next potential uh, support is previous resistance equal support, which is down here at 3067. So watch out for 3067 as a potential the as a potential support zone, folks. Okay, so if that fails, then you have next potential support, which is at 3050, and then you have support at uh, 3040. So these two zones are going to be quite crucial for the uh, the European equities. Okay, folks. So just keep an eye on those. 10 minute chart of the euro stocks again like i said i was expecting gap fill to hold at 30377 that hasn't been the case we are now testing the next potential support which is at 3064 if that fails then you are going to go lower down to pivot s3 at 3050 now i don't so I, I certainly don't envisage that happening okay so certainly looking for a potential pop here on the uh, euro stocks okay so i think that's a good summation of european equities equities this morning explain the fundamentals and the technicals too be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and uh, wish you um, uh, success for the remainder of the trading day goodbye